On Thursday of Jesus' last week before his death, we get a glimpse of his last full day on earth. In the city of Jerusalem, everyone is busy. They're celebrating the Passover feast. And as evening approached, Jesus and his disciples gather for a meal together. This is the day before the crucifixion, and Jesus knows what's coming. He's feeling the heaviness of what God's calling him to do in the next hours, and he knows that his earthly time is coming to an end. So he takes this time together to show his disciples how much he loves them. As they gather around the table to celebrate and have a meal together, Jesus leads the disciples in the very first communion. In this, he recognizes himself as the ultimate and final sacrifice for sin. He recognizes a new covenant that will reconcile humanity back to God. And he's teaching his disciples to remember him often and celebrate why he came to bring life and healing to the world. After this, he takes time to serve his disciples by washing their feet. It was confusing that a savior would lower himself to wash the dirt from their feet. But Jesus is showing them the Father's heart and to lead by serving in the most humble way. He demonstrated that he loved them, even though some will fail him greatly, even though Judas will betray him and others will deny him. And shortly after, he calls his followers to a new commandment. John 13, 34 and 35 says, A new commandment I give to you, that you love one another just as I have loved you. You also are to love one another. And by this, all people will know that you are my disciples if you have love for one another. So Jesus leaves them with one final instruction, to love one another. And this concept of loving each other wasn't something new. We read, it about it, read about it in the Old Testament and other teachings of Jesus about loving your neighbor as yourself. So this instruction to love wasn't something new, but Jesus used the word new here. And so when we look at that Greek word for new that's used, it, that's used there, it's kainos, which translates to fresh. And he was giving them a fresh way, a new standard for how to love, that you would love them as I have loved you. Jesus' love is one that sacrifices, that forgives completely, that is so evident through his actions as he serves, and he would go on to give the greatest demonstration of love in all of history when he willingly gives his life up for mankind. So Jesus is giving his disciples then and now a new way to measure love and have relationship with one another. And he goes on to say that by this, all people will know that you are my disciples. He says, the world will know me by your love, not by how much you know, or how well you speak, or your status, or how many rules you keep, or whether you get it all right, but how well you love. And by demonstrating this kind of love that's unconditional, sacrificial, that cares deeply about the needs of others, and is willing to go the distance, the world will take notice, and it will draw people to who Jesus is. So from this last meal in the upper room, Jesus then goes to retreat into the garden to pray. And we can really sense this heaviness that Jesus is feeling. And he prays saying, Father, if you are willing, remove this cup from me. Nevertheless, not my will, but yours be done. And it wasn't long after that, that Jesus was met in the garden by a crowd, that he was betrayed by Judas, and he was arrested to be put to death. 